Okay, so, hey y'all, uh, how y'all doing? Happy Tuesday. Um, I've been having the hugest issues with putting or uploading the videos online. So, I have to take the next step, which is doing lives and then um, posting it on the pages. So, I'm gonna do a live on here with the instructions and then I'll just upload my smaller videos, uh, like my encouraged videos or my videos that have to do with food and nutrition on there because I'm already like six, five days behind and I'm not feeling it at all. So we have five workouts that we're gonna do, five exercises. We're gonna do uh, two ab exercises and then I'm gonna allow y'all to, you know, look at it and do whatever. Um, what else do I need to say? So now you can kind of ask questions if you need to on here. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna post it on my page so you guys won't have anything to worry about if you miss it right now. Um, I think that's all. Okay, let's get started. So we're starting off first with in outs. Uh, in outs, I'm gonna show the mod modified version first. <clears throat> with in outs, they can be done at a fast pace or a slow pace. So for my people who are at the beginner stage, you want to unlock your knees, uh, get a slight bend in your knees, and you're taking your legs out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So the key to this is to make sure that you're doing it as fast as you can until you get here, okay? So if you're here, once again, we're gonna do it for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna take a 15 second break. We're gonna start back again with here. Turn these back so y'all can see. Okay, slight bend in the knees. You can keep your hands wherever. You can keep them on your on your on your uh, waist, on your hips if that makes you feel better. Uh, hands up, but you're going in, in, out, in. Okay, or here. Okay, I use my arms to help me move back and forth. They help with, uh, I guess, helping your legs <laughs> continue to move with your arms. Okay. From there, after we do our four sets, or however many sets you can go, we're gonna move into our lunges. Now, lunges can be done, very, uh, a lot of different variations. I always say, when you go down into your lunges, if you begin to wobble, you need to come up, okay? Key thing about lunges is that you wanna make sure that your hips are square. So when I say that, you're not turning this way to do your lunges, you're not doing like this. You're turning your body all the way out. You don't want your knee to pass your foot, so you're not leaning in the old school girl pose like here. <laughs> okay, you don't want that to pass there. You're gonna keep it, uh, I guess, directly parallel to your uh, ankle, and you're turning that back leg. And like I said, you're going down as far as you can go. Okay, so you're not necessarily going all the way down here if you can. If you can. You go right here. I don't think. Eventually, you'll get the feel of it. You want to keep that leg, that back leg, uh, active. So when I say active, um, it's not flat. You're on your toe. When you go down and you come up, you're squeezing. Okay, you're going back down. You want to focus, have a focal point. You want to squeeze your core. So. Now, with these, once again, you can do them with your 30 seconds pause, or you can do them 10 to 12 at a time, okay? What do we have next? Okay, next you're gonna grab dumbbells, or those five pound dumbbells, or two bottles of water, or nothing at all, if any of that is too much for you. I'm gonna use these. Okay, these are called fork screws. So your arms are directly out and they're parallel to your shoulders and you're just gonna twist and back to the middle, okay? Twist, back to the middle. That's what you're doing, twist, back to the middle, okay? This is what we got for course group. So depending on where you are, if you have three pound weights, grab a three pound weights, that's fine. If you have water bottles, that's fine too. You don't want to twist your feet, your feet are planted, <clears throat> and you're only twisting your upper body, okay? As far as you can go, okay? You're gonna feel the force in your shoulders, 
So right up in here. Um, and like I said, let's do 30 seconds. Let's just do 30 seconds for each of those 30 seconds. Okay. I'm sorry, 30. Come back here. Okay. Side, front. Side, front. 30 seconds. Take a 15 second break. And then you're going to come back. All right. Now, we're going to move over to the ground for our planks. Okay. Planks are super duper fun. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, I do know what happened. I got a phone call, but I had to reject it. Sorry, Sam, I love you. Okay, these are planks. So, uh, key things to remember about planks. You want to make sure your arm or your shoulder is parallel to your wrist, okay? You're taking, for my modifying people, for my people that are beginners, you're gonna stay on your knees. Like I said, if you need like a pillow or something, go ahead and get that. Or a mat that can help you if you're on a hard floor. You're gonna keep <clears throat> your hands uh, right underneath your wrist. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're gonna keep your shoulders and your wrists parallel to one another. And I always tell people, when you're doing push-ups, planks, anything where you're putting a lot of weight on your wrist, you wanna grab or pretend you're grabbing a jar. Uh, I've heard a lot of yogis tell me that. So you won't, I have weak, weak wrists. So a lot of times, um, if we don't stretch them all the time, or if we're not always keeping them active or warmed up, you can get a little strain. So to avoid the strain, open your fingers as wide as you possibly can, and don't lean back on your wrist, okay? Don't put all your pressure on your wrist. Make sure the pressure and the weight of your body is all the way from your wrist to your fingertips, okay? So, you're here or you're here, okay? If you're here, I don't want booties up, okay? I don't want hips sunk. No booties up, no hips sunk. We're not doing those right now. That is a workout, but that's not what we're performing. You wanna make sure that your hips are square. If you need to, the wider your legs open, the easier it is. The wider your arms open, the easier it is. Well, I don't want you to your arms. Keep your arms the same. Just worry about your legs. The wider you open your legs, the better you're able to uh, balance yourself, and you're just going to hold it, okay? Planks are just there to hold. Keep it right here. The goal is to go for 30 seconds. We can start at 5. We can start at 10. We can start at 15. Whatever you feel like your, your uh, time needs to be, you're just going to hold it. When you're holding it, you're taking deep breaths in. So the fact that I can have a full-blown conversation with you like this lets you know that I am taking deep breaths in and exhaling out, okay? Uh, if you want to make it a little more complex, you can shrug your shoulders back and forth to get a little more of a shoulder burn. Um, and you're just gonna hold it, okay? So, these, that's all, those are the planks. So we've done, for people who are just getting in, we've done in-outs, or modified in-outs. We've done lunges, okay? So you're just gonna bring your leg back together, take it back out, okay? We've done corkscrews, grab you some water bottles here, and we have done our planks, okay? All of these require three to four sets with a total amount of about 30 seconds, 15 to 20 second rest in between. You go into another set or another rep. Um, what are the exercises? Is that it? Okay, I think let's do one more. Oh no, okay, I think it's time for abs. That was five. In outs, lunges, course, legs. Oh, no, okay. Superman. So, Superman is essentially an ab exercise, but it also is good for your bottom, too, depending just on the position of what you're doing. So, you're gonna extend out. I know I'm long. Okay. You're gonna extend out. And it's kind of self-explanatory, the way that the Superman is said, the way that you see Superman fly through the sky. You're just going to 
raise both sides up. So it's good for your glutes because if you put those feet together, the more you squeeze, or if you're doing here, that's straight for the glutes. But you are definitely using your upper body, your abs rather, as well as your lower legs, okay? You see that I, you have to be tight. You can't not be tight in this because that's the only way that you're gonna go up. If you, once you relax, you're gonna come down. So you're gonna have to squeeze everything up, focus your head, extend your arms like you're reaching for something, reaching for the wall, whatever is on the opposite side, as well as your, your toes. So you are pointing your toes and reaching out, elongating your body as much as you can, and you're holding it. Once again, you got 20, 30 seconds. If you wanna keep it going, 35, 45. Okay, let's get to our two abs. Okay, I think our two abs are going to be bicycles and, okay, bicycles. So, bicycles are um, an original <laughs> uh, ab exercise that everyone is known, or everyone knows, right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, or ladies if that's all people's watching, when you do any uh, ab exercise on the floor with your back on the floor, you want to avoid your back arching like so, okay? You want to square your hips, bring your bottom down, flat back, okay? If you feel yourself doing this, then either you need to raise up your legs some so you won't arch as much because it just means your core isn't as strong yet, okay? So with these, you're going to put your legs in a tabletop position. So once again, you see that pair of you see, you see how you see that form right there? Okay, <laughs> from here, you raise it up so you're looking over your chest if you need to. So you have two options. You can do the bicycles with hands or without hands. So without hands, just put your hands next to your body and you're just gonna extend all the way out. This is really the key is extending your leg out. Because a lot of times you see people doing here and they're not getting the full elongation, and you're not giving yourself the ample opportunity to feel the workout. So if you're looking over your chest, you're working your, you're working that, that that first or the, the first part of your upper core. If you are extending your legs from my old cheerleaders or dancers, if you're pointing your toes, it makes a bit more of a difference, okay? <sighs> Okay, last ab exercise we're gonna do with y'all. Y'all can have it today. These are gonna be in outs, okay? So, we are either taking our feet all the way in, like so, and out, in, and out. If that's too much for you, you're saying, girl, please, chicken and cheese. Let's do one leg down, one leg down, okay? You're just doing this like a high knee, sitting down. And you are not only working your lower abs, but you are also working your legs as well because what people don't truly realize is that because your core it helps you with your balance, the only way that your core is sufficiently strong is if it can manage to control your lower body. So I have really big, thick legs that are heavy. And so my core is always in development because of the amount of muscle that I'm putting in my leg, okay? So we have this option or we got here, okay? And you can move with these because apparently you have to. And you're gonna go for 30 seconds or you're gonna do 10. You're gonna take a break. One of the stretches you can do to kind of stretch your abs is reach for your toes or touch your toes. And you can lay back if you need to just to kind of give your abs a break. We're gonna come back up and we're going up for the other set. Okay, after you're done, remember, got a little stretching in this. This is gonna be real quick because y'all gonna do this on your own. I'm sorry. Here, roll on over all the way. Right now, your muscles are warm and you're good. All the way through the side to the other side. Always good to stretch. It's never good to go to the gym, work your butt off, and then leave. Because your muscles are like, what bro? What bro? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Just, just, just getting all warmed up and not putting any type of stretching in here. Like, you gotta make sure that your muscles are taken care of, okay? 
no matter who you are. That goes from the best trainer to one of the people who have never went to the gym before. Stretching can really just help you with just life. I can't stress that enough, okay? So, I'll be back here Thursday for another live so we can keep things going. I'm not giving up on y'all. To me, this is a prime example of me telling you that it doesn't matter what happens, you gotta keep going. So, um, I had a lot of technical difficulties. If you're just tuning in, I have not been able to upload the videos and it has been breaking my heart because my small iPad is just like, girl, I, I just, I can't do it. This is too much information. It's too much uh, uh, footage and it's just not doing right. So I'm going to be going live on Tuesdays, Thursdays and possibly Saturdays. I know it has to be three days so I can save this on my page so you guys can still see this. So I am... I think the last day I did was day six. Today is the 11th, I'm five days behind. I owe you guys five days. Uh, keep watching, keep tuning in. Uh, I apologize 17,000 times for not being able to post this stuff. I have not forgotten, we're still in this thing, 30 days. Um, basic, foundational working out. Um, I'll be back, you know, for more, everything. I, nothing to stop, I just have to, had to find another way to work this out so we could uh, do this. All right, y'all have an awesome day. Love you, peace. Love you, peace. <laughs> Love you, kings and queens. <laughs>